Good evening and welcome to our Western Edition. And as we come on the air tonight, we are worried and watching that new storm that is threatening the Bahamas. And we'll have the latest on that in just a moment. But we're going to begin with breaking news. The first parent to be sentenced in the college admission scandal, actress Felicity Huffman, received 14 days behind bars, a $30,000 fine, and she must perform 250 hours of community service after pleading guilty to conspiracy to commit fraud. 51 people have been charged in the scandal. And as Carter Evans reports, Huffman's sentence could set the stage for the others. How do you feel about how everything came out? Actress Felicity Huffman stared straight ahead as she left the courthouse with her husband, actor William H. Macy. She's a convicted felon now. In court, Huffman told the judge, her voice shaking, I'm deeply sorry, I've inflicted more damage than I could ever imagine. She said her daughter told her, I don't know who you are anymore. Prosecutors argued she should spend 30 days in prison for paying $15,000 to have her daughter's SAT answers corrected. A message must be sent, they said in court, and imprisonment is the only way to send that message. The judge agreed, telling Huffman, you paid your dues, you can rebuild your life. In a statement released after sentencing, Huffman said, I accept the court's decision today without reservations. There are no excuses or justifications for my actions, period. Now that the judge has ruled on Huffman, 14 others who also pleaded guilty will soon learn their sentences. They know that they will do more time than that 14 days. And so if she were walking out of there, some of those defendants who pleaded guilty might have thought they would too. They're not. Now, Huffman must report to prison on October 25th, and her attorneys are asking that she be held at a low security facility in California. Meanwhile, actress Lori Loughlin, she's still fighting the charges against her. She's accused of paying half a million dollars to get her two daughters into USC. Nora? It will be interesting to watch, Carter. Thank you.